Hello, dear scouts. We're just going to wait a few seconds so that everyone joins the webinar, and then we will begin the session with our hosts. All right, uh, Nicholas, I think we can start and then everyone who joins afterwards can pick up from where we are. <laughs> Take it away. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. We have uh, been looking so much forward to this uh, to this session. So uh, let's uh, begin. We come from uh, travel centers in Denmark. Uh, my name is uh, Nicholas, I'm the spokesperson for the scenes committee and the board member. Yeah, my name is Pelle. And, yeah. And chairman for the scenes committee and also a board member. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, we've been looking so much forward to this session to uh, share the knowledge from travel and to just commonly share who are we and what are we. So travel uh, was uh, founded, uh, bought in uh, 1972. Yeah. And has been an uh, operating scout center since uh, 1974. We have uh, about, what is it, uh, 27 acres of land. Yeah, yeah. Around uh, that give and take. Almost uh, half of our area is uh, is uh, protected. So, so we have uh, we have a lot of uh, natural areas on our campsite, but not the uh, not so much that we can't have some activities. But we'll get back to that. Uh, the area, uh, as you can see here, most of uh, most of the area is shown on the screen now. Uh, if you look at the right bottom of uh, of the screen, you can see some uh, buildings. We also have some land on the other side of the building. But uh, this you can see here is our main scout area. We go down to, uh, to a lake uh, called Stubogol, uh, Stubogol Sur, uh, where we have some uh, canoeing and kayaking activities uh, and so on. Yeah. Do you like to add something? No. Or do, should we just get the popcorn and uh, play our film? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Travel Center, Denmark. This is our solar cell panel the second largest one in the area of 50 kilometers. It's produced eight, no, 48 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power the whole center and a little bit more. But we'll tell you about that a little later. This doesn't look like much right now, but this is also the camp area. If we dig a little underground, we have a ground heat source pump system. The only thing it's doing is making all the heat needed. Sorry. Welcome to Trump. But this is also the camp area. If we dig a little underground, we have a ground heat source pump system. The only thing it's doing is making all the heat needed in the houses and the water so we get a shower. It is all powered by our solar cell panels. Welcome. These two white ones standing in each side is a reversible cycle air conditioner. The special thing with those two is it's only provide heat in this house 
and the water for all the kids normally is around us so they can get a shower warm shower after warm shower a cold day this is some of the volunteers favorite spot of all of the center here you can come if you have a rough day just to relax and embrace the nature and environment that surrounds travel all the way around and as we're talking about we have some leftovers of exists the leftovers to the community around us so they can get electricity from the sun. So welcome to travel. That was uh, just to so you can see what we're going to do, what we are doing uh, about the, uh, the CO2 neutral uh, and the environmental footprint that we uh, uh, set out here on yeah. travel. Uh, but the journey to become a CO2 neutral center isn't just something that we just thought of yesterday. It actually goes back uh, quite a while. Uh, we are, um, in Denmark, we are placed uh, on what we can describe as a farming uh, community. Yeah. So all the luxury, uh, luxury things that you have in the city, uh, we don't have out here. We have to be self provided for most parts. Um, if uh, regarding the CO2 neutral uh, out here, we have uh, the solar cell panels, as you saw in the video. It produces so much uh, power, electricity, that that we give back to to actually quite a lot of the community. Yeah. It it's not just uh, in the video. It's it looks like it's only two three houses that gets it. It's uh, it's uh, quite a bit more. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember how many, but yeah, it's a lot more. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, we actually the solar cell panels was established in twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah. Uh, the solar cell panels was established. Uh, and from the first year, it actually produced enough to, so we could give, give some back to the communities. Uh, the ground uh, heat uh, system was established in, I think it was 20, uh, 2008. Uh, yeah. Around oh, there. Yeah. Uh, so we are not reliable on gas and such forth from outside. And uh, then uh, in our new to toilet building, uh, as we saw with the uh, with the cycle with the air cycle, yeah, it was established in 2014, I think. Uh, yeah, 2014 yeah. was the was the building opened. Uh, so we actually done quite a lot to become CO2 neutral. Uh, we have uh, uh, pushed it forward out here. We have done our uh, our course to uh, we have done ours to become CO two yeah. neutral. Because um, um, when you are talking in that scale as we are here, it's not cheap to become it to become CO two neutral. But we can, uh, kind of weighed the points about it was expensive, yeah. But we only have one plant, yeah. So so we didn't have a choice out here. We have to become CO2 neutral. Uh, and then when we became CO2 neutral, we actually became we be, began to look at, at scenes. Uh, would you like to take that journey? Yeah, no, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, the scenes, uh, the first time we were hearing about scenes was on a small seminar in Denmark. Um, and that was back in it's 10 years ago, something like that. Um, and when we hear about the scene, there was an, a quite big elephant to, to go into. And we didn't, we couldn't see that it was something we could do. I would say not easily. It's not easy to get a scenes member, but it's not that hard that we find out for three years ago now. Yeah, when we 
was going into this again to see was it possible to get the the scene certification out here and we talked with some good friends in denmark uh, has been a scene sensor many years now and they were giving us some tools to how to get into the scenes and making the reports and everything um we have the solar panels and all of that so it, that was not the big issue for us it was just to making the report and uh, send it into the scenes committed so we did that in uh, almost a weekend yeah 24 hours something like that it was not the not that a big issue when you go I think, I think the biggest issue was translating from danish yeah. to english but yeah we have been a scene center for two years now yeah i'm very proud of it yeah we love it <laughs> so so it's not of course, it's uh, the the scenes have some standards and some requirements that you have to fill, but but it's but it's almost it's also the the way of thinking that scene. You don't have to be a CO two neutral center as no. as us uh, and as travel. You just have to change your mindsets. You have to become more aware of the environmental footprint that you that you give so instead of just throwing a paper out in the in the trash you have to sort it so you become more more aware of these things but one thing is is the is the environmental aspect of of travel because uh, as we become aware, as we have talked to other centers uh, around the world, mm. uh, we have found out that having activities on your center is more of a, I would say, North European thing. Yeah. Uh, it's not that much, uh, you don't see that quite often that you have activities on site. So you don't actually, if you stay here for a week, you don't have to leave the campsite. But we have, uh, produced a video yeah. that explains some of the activities out here. So enjoy. Once again, welcome to travel. Last time we showed you all our actions to become a CO2 natural scout center. Now we're gonna show you some more of the amazing things we have here. So come along. This is our main building. In here, we can have some guests sleeping and we can have up to 85 people dining in here at the same time. Let's continue our journey. In this building here, and in these three huts down here, including the main building, we can have up to 80 people sleeping indoors at the same time. This is one of our new projects in, uh, out here. This is a mobile shelter. We're going to build two of them. So the scouts can uh, decide for themselves where they want to sleep on our area. These are going to be finished by the summer. This is one of our newest activities. This is called a gaming cafe. The scouts can come up here, challenge each other in various games that we provide for free for them. Also, when they are going home, they can, uh, the leaders can send them up here just to keep the noise away from the campsite. As you saw in our last video, this is our solar cell panel. The building on, uh, beneath it, we have used to maximum capacity. For example, in here, we have our bouldering room, indoor climbing room. And also in the other end, we have storage room. But let's go in and see our bouldering. The scouts have to take off their uniform, the scarf, the knives, and the shoes, and then they get equipped with some climbing shoes. And in here, we have the bouldering room, indoor climbing. This has all been built by the volunteers at the center. It's one of our most popular, uh, popular activities in the summer. But let's go see some other uh, cool stuff. This is our blacksmith activity for the scouts. Here they can make a butter knife or a 
hut for their mom so they have a souvenir from travel. But let's go. This is our activity house. This building used to be our toilet building. We have reused it as an activity house with four completely different rooms inside. So let's go have a look. This is our creativity room. In here, the scouts can do whatever they like. They can find inspiration all around them in the room. And also, they can find inspiration in all the boxes in here. This is our craftsmanship room. The whole idea with this room is that you use the materials from the nature uh, around you. In here, you can make uh, handles for your knives. You can make sleeves for your knives. You can also make a wooden spoon. All of these tools that are up on this wall is of free use when the scouts are in this room. This is one of our most popular activities out here. This is one of our two escape rooms. This room in here is called Scout Hacks. The room revolves around a character called the Count Geo Go. He has stolen one of the most uh, valuable uh, things in the scout organization. He has stolen BP's hats. The scouts have one hour to come into this room and to break the safe and get BP's hats. But let's see what happens if they don't make it in time. We didn't succeed in the other room, so now we have been locked in here in our other escape room. In this room, the main goal is to get something from over there, but we will get to that. But to get out of the cells by taking the keys from the wall and crack all the uh, all the locks to get into here, where there's a secret ladder they need to get, and also their personal own personal items are in here. And once they do that, they're free. This was some of the activities and facility we would like to show you today. We have a bunch more activities and some cool buildings left out here. But who knows? Maybe we'll see you soon on travel. This was, uh, as I said in the video, some of the activities and facilities we have on travel. But then again, activities, why and for what purpose do we have the activities? For some centers around the world, uh, only facilitates the stay at the campsite, and then you have to go out in the area around the scout center to see some things, to try some things. But when you come to travel and some uh, other North European center, yeah, we'd <laughs> like to have you to stay at this campsite to try all of the activities. Actually, we only have one paid activity it's uh, knife uh, 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 knife making yeah. uh, where you have to pay for the knife blade itself. Uh, all of the other activities are free when you stay at travel. So you don't have to, to sit down and calculate, uh, okay, now we're going down to the creativity room. It costs so, so much. No, you just uh, raise your hand and say, I will try that. And then you go down and try it. And the volunteers at the center would uh, would uh, facilitate these activities for you. So if you're a leader and you have your scout group coming to travel, you you don't have to to do very much yeah. actually. You just have to be there yeah. and say, uh, my, uh, my scouts would like to try a blacksmith. Great. Then you show up a blacksmith activity, and then there's going to be a volunteer facilitating that activity for you. So that uh, was some of the reasons why we have activities. And also to make memories for the scouts so they remember travel and and would like to come back, hopefully, yeah, uh, sometime. But it's mostly to make the memories and you don't have to spend so much transport uh, transportation time uh, out in the area around travel. But now we would, uh, we have a Slido. So 
So I hope somebody's gonna open the Slido. I am here. Um, could you please allow me to share now by closing the, the sharing screen that you were sharing? Yeah, I'm stop sharing my screen now. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna go on and share the slide out now. Moment. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So Scouts, you can access the Slido by going to slido.com and typing in the code the code travel that you can see here. Or you can scan the QR code and the QR code is going to take you to um, the slido.com page. Okay. Once you're there, you're going to be able to answer the questions that we have here. Okay, so we have someone from Italy. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you <laughs> analyze the the questions, Nicholas. Yeah. So the the questions here are a mix of <clears throat> basic questions like where you're from. Uh, that's gonna come some questions. Are you a scout leader? Are scout center listening in, and uh, and this, uh, some other more environmental questions uh, are also gonna come in. So you're just gonna give uh, give this uh, uh, so, uh, a minute, and then we're gonna move on to to the next one. Yep. So you can just move I on to the next one. I see some people also uh, answering the questions in the Q and A part. Guys, uh, scouts, please go on slido.com and enter the code, code travel. I will uh, type in the code in the chat box as well. You're going to enter the code travel when you go to slido.com and it should take you to our slido page. And please answer uh, your questions on Slido. Okay, we have a lot of different scouts here <laughs> from different different part, parts and angles of the world. So great to see so many different scouts joining in. We'll let a few more participants answer and then we can move on to the following questions. Mm -hmm. So far we have really a lot of continents joining in. We have Europe, we have the Asian Pacific region, we have the African region. We will get to these these questions later on, but please save them uh, for the hosts. Um, please also ask your questions, whichever questions you have to ask, you can ask them in the Q&A part and we will get back to them later on. Okay, I think uh, now, Nicholas, we can move on to the following question. Yeah, just move on. All right. Scouts, you, will, you should be able to see uh, the new question now. I'd say the majority of our participants today are scouters. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a bunch of leaders here as well. 
I believe I just yeah. saw someone type in a center as well. Yeah. Great to see you all engaging in these questions. Thank you all for participating. Okay, we'll let a few more participants answer. And for the sake of time, we're, go we're going to be moving on soon. Um, I will move on to the following question now. Mm -hmm. you, will be, you should be able to see the new question now. So what are the things that would make you choose the Scout Center approach? Oh, the suspense. Oh. Yes, the suspense is great. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so we have already some uh, interesting answers. Experience, which cannot be found in my country, then the different views and uh let new experience so gain new experiences to explore new places and meet people of different cultures to learn more about the world power mm -hmm. okay uh new experiences if it looks exciting new experiences skills a good leader and no need to stay in hong kong okay <laughs> to associate with different people Make friends from different countries, see beautiful places, new experiences, fun, have friends, facilities, new culture, ease of travel, cost, both the center and the travel. Let's say we did it. Okay, we have new place, relationship, experience, uh, which I perhaps can't go in can have in my country, I'm guessing, to see how different scouts in in, in outside countries um However, I would not like to choose a scout center abroad as I am now familiar with my scout center. Okay. Experience, learn more about culture. Uh, Nicholas, if you would like to respond to any of these, you feel free to take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just so fascinated with the with the different responses that comes there. Uh, because we talked about this question here and and it's completely not completely different, but some different answers that that we talked about when when we ask ourselves this question. So it's it's really fascinating uh, answers that you uh, that you guys give. I think this one's pretty interesting as well. The different nature landscape around it. I think mm -hmm. uh, everyone could have seen in the videos that there is a lovely landscape and a lovely scenery around how. Uh, on outskirts, I believe, on farmland, so it's far away from the city, so it's a lot of nature. Mm, it is. And this one as well here, facilities, I think for most, facilities are really important, and I think we could see a lot of different exciting facilities in travel, I was really surprised that you have an escape room. That's something that would definitely be a check for me when, <laughs> when uh, seeing different facilities. I would definitely be excited about playing a escape room in a scouting center. I would also see, uh, say that the most uh, often when we have a scout out here and we present our uh, uh, escape rooms, uh, most of them uh, can't believe we have it. And also that it's free of use. 
when you're at here uh, at the campsite here? Which is incredible. I think you can just go uh, on to the next uh, question. Um, oh. Name some of the environmental or sustainability action that your scout group or scout center have taken. This one is also interesting. Let's see if there are inspiring uh, actions. Because we know that that around the world there are different challenges to become more environmental or sustainable in the either the scout group or the scout center. Uh, so we'd like to to see what. What have people done around the world? Yeah. Just let While the scouts are answering, Nicholas, maybe you can also share with us what scouts could do, what environmental or sustainability actions they could take if they visit travel. Mm -hmm. You can reuse the materials. Uh, if you um, have a big event at uh, either the scout center or the scout group, you uh, probably have some leftover materials or some other things. You can reuse that. Uh, you can go down to your local thrift store. Yeah, uh, we have done that quite a lot out here. Oh yeah, uh, they have some things that they can't sell, uh, and then you can reuse that in a new purpose. It could either be a new sofa. For your uh, your scout hut or your scout center, it could be some materials like uh, we have uh, our spoon ends with uh, with plastic spoons out here. So instead of just taking them and throwing them away, we give them a new purpose. And also, as you uh, most of you are saying here, it, it clean up session, uh, reusing plastic bottles, uh, just removing all the trash from the nature. It's, it's one of the easiest things to do. Yeah. Uh, we have actually in, in my scout group have, uh, uh, what do we go, uh, challenges. We challenge each other where we're going to have uh, a shopping net uh, and the, uh, whichever one fills it the fastest, it's winning an ice cream. So, so you can also get the competition in it. I think that's a great idea next to for all of the scouters watching uh, as maybe an activity for your next scout group meeting. Who can collect the most uh, waste in a given time and then the winners get an ice cream. I, I, I see no reason why, why someone wouldn't be excited about winning, winning an ice cream. But also we are trying to, to use everything instead of just thrown it out. So take it down to the, the activity room and, and try to make it to something new, useful, a doll or anything. So instead of just throwing thing out, we'll try to use it. And we see some really nice activities here. We have, oh, this one's interesting. We have a Go Green Action Car Free Day. Dialogue for the SDGs, recycling garbage, Scout Go Solar. Scout Go Solar is actually one of the world scouting initiatives that you can take. Um, that you can take part in. It's an amazing project uh, within the Earth Tribe. I'm not sure if, uh, if any of the scouts here have taken part in the Earth Tribe session that we had today as well. We could have learned more about these activities. I think we can move on to the uh, following question as well. Um, I just think we're going to stop it here, otherwise we're going to run out of time, I think. Okay, so you want me to skip the last one? Or... Yeah, just skip the last one. Okay. So we can okay. answer some of the questions that people might have. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, then I'll stop it here, I'll stop sharing, and then you can go back to your slide. Yeah. I'm just going to... Just to uh, end the session, I yeah. would like to say thanks for listening. If you would like to learn more about travel, there's the link on the PowerPoint slide. It's travel.dk. 
Unfortunately, the English translation is not up and running. We have an issue with our web provider right now, but uh, soon it will be up and running. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, Google Translate might help you. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. You are more than welcome to reach out there if that help. And then I'm gonna post in the text. I'm gonna post my email address. If you want to know more about travel, you're more than welcome to send me a mail. And I would like to, to help to answer it. Uh, there was some questions on the Slido about the CO2 neutrality. Uh, the person that asked that on there, is the person still here? And could you please uh, uh, tell us what you want to know more about our CO2 neutrality on the Q&A? So the question was from an anonymous viewer. So the question on Slido was about, uh, can you explain more about CO2 neutral? So um, if you could ask more um, questions or more details uh, regarding this question in the Q&A, whoever posed this question. Uh, it would be more to, to help to answer it. Otherwise, uh, send me a mail. And then we will get back to you. But once more, it was a pleasure for, for us to host this uh, webinar. Oh, yeah. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you got a little bit, uh, have a better idea about both the, a little bit more about the scenes uh, and also about the, uh, what other uh, options are out there? So uh, without further ado, some of you have asked the question, I think uh, 10 times, if that can do it. Yeah. So uh, gonna, there you have the code. <laughs> That's good, if you don't wanna give the code up, up front, no. I have to earn it. So the code is there. It's O, E, E, V, and N. That's the code. So I hope that uh, answers the, the around 10 to, yeah, about 10 questions. So once more, thank you so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure to have you all listening in. And I was really uh, surprised about the answers on the slide. Yeah, I got something uh, to think of. Yeah. So have a great Yoshi Yoshi. And uh, who knows? Maybe we will see you on travel. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Nicholas, um, so much. Thank you, Traveled, for joining us uh, in this session. Um, we will just once again repeat to the code to the scout. So it's O E E. VN. I have just posted the code in the in the chat box. So go go ahead into the chat box, copy the code, and you can post it wherever you need to post it for the uh, badge. All right. Thank you all so 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 much for joining us today, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and enjoy the rest of Jota Jota. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Jusun. Bye.